say, <laughs> what can I say? I gotta say that you guys over, you always look fantastic over in the band, but you're looking a little bit extra spiffy tonight. Why, thank you. Is that is that because we have the the the, the late show holiday party tonight? Is that is that why you it guys is. are looking so nice? Yeah. You look fantastic. I see a lot of like purple going on. I see a yeah, lot of different purple, purples going on. Greens. There. Very nice. Yeah. Thanks. You know, it's a holiday party. You know what we say around here? Have a good time, not a great time. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> You gotta come back. And Great time usually think. means you, there was some trouble. There was some trouble. Yeah. How was the party? It was good. <laughs> uh, tonight, uh, speaking of uh, good and great, yeah. we have two amazing uh, performers out here tonight. Eddie Izzard, comedian, yeah. actor, uh, activist, writer. She's out here tonight. And the one, the own, the great New York's Woo. own Alicia Keys Woo. is going to be out here. Also, uh, also performing. Also performing. Also performing. We got a new Christmas, got a new Christmas album. I heard. Folks, if you watch this show, you know I spend most of my time over in the news kitchen, sweating the day's biggest story shallots, adding a chiffonade of tarragon and chervil, creating a production of champagne vinegar and Louis Jadot Chardonnay, whisking in the yolks of Orpington hen eggs, then emulsifying it with clarified Rodolphe Le Meunier butter to bring you the Michelin star sauce bernays that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I, I crash a stolen dune buggy into a compost tanker scrape together some pumpkin husk grass clipping and fish heads, boil it all in a hubcap over an oil drum fire with some fireball and Mountain Dew code red, and then I'll let America keg stand the botulism lace chum gravy of news that is my segment. <laughs> Meanwhile... I'll take what I can get. Now, now always, always a joy. Meanwhile... Uber is launching self-driving cars in Las Vegas. Because you know what they say, what happens in Vegas will probably kill some pedestrians. <laughs> Meanwhile, in competitive eating news on Tuesday, Joey Chestnut dominated the Cleveland Cavaliers pierogi eating competition. OK, there's a, there's a lot to unpack there. First of all, Joey Chestnut is a competitive eater most famous for the Nathan's Hot Dog Championship. And Cavaliers are an NBA basketball team. And a pierogi eating contest is a cry for help. <laughs> all in all, all in all, Chestnut pounded 47 pierogies while his three competitors ate 33 pierogies combined. He ate more than all three of those adult men. I'd say he put them to shame, but if you're eating double digit pierogies, shame is where you live. <laughs> Meanwhile, in food news, Hellman's wants you to put mayo in your eggnog this holiday season. No. <laughs> Meanwhile, in museum news, the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum in Atlantic City is about to close. Apparently, the museum's founders failed to anticipate how many people would choose or not. <laughs> Meanwhile, New research from the journal Science found that most healthy adults drinking eight cups of water a day is completely unnecessary and is misguided in part because it doesn't take into account all the water that we get from our food, which is why I'm going to ask Ben & Jerry's to re-release Americone Dream with the new label, Technically an Excellent Source of Water. Mm. Time to hydrate. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Nothing cleanses the palate like some dairy. <laughs> we'll be right back with Alicia Keys. <laughs>